Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Well, Transformers is coming out in a couple weeks, and I, since I'm going to be away for most of the summer, I'm going to do my thoughts going into it now. But first, my thoughts on the previous movies. They all suck. First one was stupid. Second one took all the dumb stuff that I hated from the first film and made it even more annoying. And the third one was really boring. If you want a more in-depth description of what I thought about those films, I'm going to have links to my written review and the description reviews in the description below. So again, if you're curious, if you want more in-depth as to how I fought, you can go there. And this new film suck. Looks bad. It's going to suck. More of the same. I mean. For one thing, they're bringing back the same writers who wrote the last couple films, or all films. Once again, Michael Bay is going to be directing it, so nothing is going to change. He keeps making crap, and people keep going to see it. So why would he change it? Although I've heard from, although I've heard that this time he doesn't even he didn't even want to make this film. So. It might even be worse because all of those passion, or maybe it'll be bet, or maybe films are better when they do less passion. But I doubt it. This film honestly looks like it's gonna be more of the same of the last film, and considering, I mean, Spill Review points this out, but they're always making the same. It feels like they're constantly rebooting the Transformers film because every film is exactly the same. And here's how this film is going to play out, and it's the exact same plot as every Transformers movie. Optim it's going to start, opt and please, if you see the movie, let me know if I'm right in terms of how this movie plays out. I would be very shocked if it didn't. So the movie's going to open up, Optimus Prime, hang on, first let me check and see how long the film is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the classic, unnecessary two and a half hours See, Transformers Age of Extinction. 157 minutes. Wow, that's like 2 hours and 40 minutes. I think that might be a record for longest Transformers movie. So anyway, so the movie's going to start. Optimus Prime is going to be narrating. He's going to be talking about something that happened like thousands of years ago. And then we're going to cut to Mark Wahlberg doing something with something goofy. And they're going to find a way to make more... Mark Wahlberg goofy and annoying. And he's going to be doing goofy stuff. There's going to be really annoying humor. He, there's going to be some girl who's only going to be there to look hot. Well, her introduction will probably be her ass, her boobs, or something. They're going to flirt a bit. They'll At some point, they'll leave her bump into a Transformer, Optimus Prime. They'll bump into him a bit. Optimus Prime will explain we're looking for some energy source and we need to find it before the Stepticons in the next hour is not going to focus on the Autobots. We're never we're not going to get to know them. The movie's going to focus on them running around looking for the thing, and then we're going to have some really long, boring, unengaging action scene with lots of explosions. And, and it's not going to focus on the Dinobots. It's not going to focus on Optimus Prime. We're going to get a couple minutes of them in the fight, but it's for the most part going to focus on Mark Wahlberg running around for the action scene, trying to find the thing before the bad guy finds the thing. So yeah, that's how the move. And the oh yeah, and then they're going to win, and then Optimus Prime is going to narrate about, give some monologue, and then the movies. It's gonna end and it's gonna end with the climax there might be maybe a minute or two of wrap up but that's it so yeah i mean the only benefit i think this film has is that mark Wahlberg is in instead of shia buff i was getting so tired of shia buff so i'm glad they're getting rid of him i mean shia buff's not a bad actor he just this isn't a good role for him and bay isn't really giving him good direction but yeah like mark Wahlberg. I went, Bay would probably, Bay's probably gonna find some way to make him either unlikable or annoying, which is a shame, because I've liked, I've seen some movies where I like Mark Wahlberg, like The Shooter, or Ted. Surprisingly, I haven't seen any of the trailers for this film, though, but, yeah, I mean, basically, it's going to be annoying. Dinobots are barely gonna be in it, we're not gonna get to know any of the Transformers. Yeah, basically... I don't really see any point. If you just read my reviews and why I don't like about the Transformers films, I wouldn't be surprised if these this film had the exact same problems. Financially wise, it's going to do. I'm pretty sure it'll do well. I will be very surprised if this film does not make a shit ton of money. 
for again, because all the because two and three were really bad, but everyone went and saw them anyway. It's like Red Letter Me says everyone hates these movies, yet everyone goes and sees them anyway. But yeah, financially wise, it just gonna do well for that reason. Also, there isn't much competition. I mean, there is. I mean, there's enough. No major releases opening. The weekend it comes out, there's like nothing big opening the weekend before or the weekend after. I mean, unless How to Train Your Dragon 2 has some serious legs, which I hope it does, this movie's probably going to do really well. And there's nothing coming out for a good time afterwards. So there's plenty of time to make a shit ton of money. Yeah, and it's, again, it's two weeks after Dragon 22 Jump Street. By then, they'll have made a good chunk, they'll fully as well have made a good chunk of their money. And again, all the Transformers films do really well. I mean, the last one made a billion dollars, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one did really well as well. I mean, even if it sucks, it's, it's quality, bad quality has never stopped these movies from making money. So while I go see this film, no, I'm not going to see this. I hate this movie. This is like one of the worst franchises ever. And I don't want to waste time my time watching this when there's a bunch of better movies coming out that I want to see, like X-Men, Hatcher and Your Dragon 2, Planet of the Apes, Guardians of the Galaxies, etc. I might see it eventually just to review it, but that's it. And... Also, maybe if it gets good reviews, I'll go see it. Or maybe if I get dragged, or maybe if someone wants to see it, I might just tag on. Or if I have a friend who wants to go see it, I might go with them. But yeah, I'm, if I see this movie in theaters, it's either because it's good or because I'm getting dragged into it. I would not want to go to see this movie in my own free will. Because yeah, why would I want to sit through crap when there's some movies coming out that actually look good? But yeah, that's my... It. So, what are your thoughts on the Transformers movies? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you think this film will turn the Transformers movies around? Or do you think, once again, Michael Bay's going to promise this one will be different, but it'll actually suck? And are you going to go see it in theaters? Please, regard, even if you think it sucks, please comment below and let me know. And as always, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Jstars360 signing out.